Asmat Guru Bhyona Maha, Asmat Parama Guru Bhyona Maha, Asmat Sarva Guru Bhyona Maha. So we're continuing on with our uh, discussions of uh, Vastu Sangraha, which is a compilation of uh, architectural puja texts written by or compiled by Rama Ramanujachari. So let's uh, continue on. So we have here Sheila Nyasa, which uh, means placement of stones, laying of foundation stones. The first instruction here is Purvangam. The Purvangam uh, is, a, is something which is uh, common to many, many pujas and is dealt with in Puja Pustakam. Let's just have a look quickly at what uh, Puja Pustakam says is the Purvangam. Purvangam means the preliminary common rites that we perform. Okay, so here is the here is the uh, Purvangam, preliminaries according to Puja Pustakam. Oma Gyanti Mirandasya, Gyanam Jala Shalake, Chaksuna Maritam Yena, that's my Sri Guru Vena Maha. We're familiar with this um, prayer to the Guru, which we start in. There is a Shanti part, Padram Karne, Vishrinu Yama Deva, etc. Swastina Indra Vridhashrava, etc. Dhyao Shanti Antarikshakum Shanti, etc. Chanting of different um, names of different deities Om Sriman Mahaganadi Patiena Mahash, Om Lakshmina Narayana Abhyam Namaha, Om Maheshra Abhyam Namaha, Vani Hiram Yabhyam Namaha, etc. And some other uh, slokas here. Then the Swasti Vachana, um, Bhuta Nivaranam, getting rid of uh, subtle living beings, Abhasampad Dugite Bhuta, Ye Bhuta Bhagisam Sitaha, Ye Bhuta Bhagdikatas Tegachan Dragaya Harehi. Um, a slight version of a different, slightly different version of this is also used sometimes. Tega Chantu Shiva Gaya on the order of Lord Shiva, please go away. Uh, here it says on the order of Lord Hari. But either 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 version can be used. Right, lighting of the lamp. Some mantras for lighting the lamp. Uh, asana Sudhi for a, a mantra for uh, for the seat for the asana. Uh, a, a mantra for in praise of the bell, the handbell, which is being used, removal of obstacles, by chanting this, uh, uh, what Vaishnava is called, um, High Griva Pranam, but what uh, Smarga is called, Ganesha Pranam, or Ganapati Pranam. Uh, Pranayam, which is done with the, in the uh, Vedic way, with using the Dhyaga Gayatri Mantra. Uh, and then Sankalpa, uh, either a lagu, a short one, or a larger, longer one, form of sankalpa or making of a vow. Different, different. Uh, then the form of Ganesha, Ganesha puja, which you have to go to another section for. Kalasha puja uh, for making water. If you don't do punyavachana or udika shanti, you can do the sh much shorter uh, kalasha puja. Shanka puja for worshiping the conch. Atma Puja, just meditating on the soul and the super soul within the body. Uh, Pita Puja, which is the offering of different uh, flower, flowers, flower petals with uh, sandalwood paste. Um, uh, in meditation on the, the either the external Pitam or the or or throne of the of the deity, or internally if we're doing Manasa Puja in the heart, should be a meditation. Pana Pratishta mantras for um, enlivening uh, whichever particular deity we, we invoke. The different mudras involved in Pana Pratishta. And then we get to the Ganesha Buddha. So all of those things before that are what we call Purvangam. So here we are back with the back with the Vastu, the Vastu Puja. So here it says, Purvangam. So whatever, whatever parts of Purvangam are not being mentioned here, they have to be done first. 
So then now we have the Pradhana Sankalpam or Laj Sankalpam for the Shila Nyasa or the laying of foundation stones. So this is usually if you're building a temple or building a building any sort of structure, either a, a house or a, some other sort of building. And uh, and so here is the here is the Pradhana Sankalpam. So it's very similar to other long sankalpams we've seen. We can go through it. Tadeva lagnam sudinam tadeva tarabalam chandrabalam tadeva vidyabalam daiva balam tadeva lakshmi pate te angriyugam smarami angriyugam smarami okay Hariyom tatsara sube shube shobane mohurte asya shri bhagavato mahapurushasya shri vishnoho agyaya parvatamanasya adya Adya Brahmano Duti Aparadi, Sri Swedavaraha Kalpe, Vaivashvata Mandantari, Kali Yuge, Kali Yuga Sya Pratama Padi, Bodavatari, Shakab De Nero Hodakshine, Pasime Uttare Dikpage. So he's given uh, three, three alternates here, uh, either south or uh, uh, South or west or north of uh, Mount Meru, but you can put you can fill in the direction where uh, where you are situated as uh, where you are situated as uh, as to as to in respect to Mount Meru, which you can consider as being in Tibet, let's say, north of India, in the Himalayas, Dikbage. So then, whenever we have a da a dash, I'm just going to say Amuka. Amuka means such and such. You have to fill in. According to your place. So, Amukha Deshe, Amukha Raje, Amukha Mahanagari and Targate, Asmin Vartamananam, Vyavaharikanam, Pavavadi, Shasti, Sampatsaranam Madye, Amukha Nama Sampatsare, Amukha Ayane, Amukha Ritao, Amukha Masi, Amukha Pakshe, Amukha Titao, Amukha Vasari, Amukha Nakshatra Yuktaya, Shuba Yoga, Shuba Karani, Sri Vishnu Yoga, Sri Vishnu Karuni, Sakala Graha, Guna Visheshana, Vishishtayam, Asyam, Shubhatitao, Amukha Gotro Gavasya, Amukha Nakshatre Jatasya, Amukha Nama Yajamanaha, Asyam, Shubhatitao, Bhagavad Agyaya, Bhagavad Kenkar Yurupam, Amukha Nakshatrasya, Amukha Gotrasya, Amukha Nama De Dehya, Ye Dehya, Deya, Yajamanasya, Parip Paripsamana, Vastunaha, Shubhatva, Sam Pataye, Nir Vignana, Nirmana, Sid Sidaye, Chagrihe, Nirmanangam, Nirmananga, Bhutam, Shila Nyasam Kurisye. Okay, so in, in the end there. Uh, so if we have the, um, if we, it, so this is the specific um, Pradhana Sankalpa for, for the Shila Nyasa, okay, for doing it. So if you're not familiar with how to perform a Sankalpa, or if you want to do it in a, in a shortened way, you can look at the Puja Pustakam and uh, how the Lagu Sankalpa can also be used. If you're not familiar with how to fill out the, the different uh, uh, blanks, here, the different places where I just said a mukha, then you have to learn uh, that uh, if you're going to use a mahasan kapha. So um, uh, after this, it says vigneshwara udvasanam. So if you're performing vigneshwara puja, ganapati ganesha puja, as a preliminary, as part of the purvangam, remember the purvangam was mentioned in the beginning here. So you're, if you're either performing vishraksena Vishrak puja or ganesha puja, this vigneshwara puja is ganesha puja. Vigneshwara uh, Udvasanam. Udvasanam means valediction. So, so it, it's assuming that you've already done Ganesh Puja and then you uh, valedict Ganesha and you send him away like that. He, 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 can, he can leave. He's free to leave after you perform worship to, worship to him. So that just mentions Vigneshwara Udvasanam. If you don't know how to do that, you have to go to Puja Pustim again and learn Udvasanam. Or valediction. 
Punyahavachanam is next. Punyahavachanam, right? There's invocation of Varuna. So here's the Dhyana Mantra for Varuna. Naga Pasha Dharam Ristam Raktaoga Duty Vigraham Shashanka Dhavalam Dhyayet Varunam Makarasanam Om Varunam Svetavarnam Japasa Hastam Rujasanam Mukti Kalankritam Devam Tirta Natam Aham Paje Asmin Kalashe Varunam Dhyayami Avahyami Stapayami Gandakshata Samarpayami. Okay, so here it says Asmin Kalashe. So you have a kumba or a kalasha or a pot, gata, and you are invoking Varuna into that pot and worshiping him. Yes. Now, the next thing that is done, right, is that we are going to offer the 16 upacharas or the 16 services, normal services. So here, uh, it doesn't explain how to do that. You have to, you have to have, you have to have, you have to know this, how to do this, right? But when you come to the section in offering of the uh, 16 uh, services of worship, when you come to the Pushpa Archana, when you come to offering flowers or flower petals, right? To Varuna, then it gives these different names of Varuna to say when you're doing the Nam Archana, you're doing the, the, the worship with the different names of, of Varuna. Here we go Om Varuna Namaha, Om Prachetase Namaha, Om Surupine Namaha, Om Apampate Namaha, Om Makavahana Namaha, Makaravahana Namaha, Om Aneka Mani Bushita Namaha, Om Jaladi Pati Namaha, Om Pasha Hasta Namaha, Om Sakala. Sakala Tirtadi Pateye Namaha Om then then uh, Gayatri Mantra for Varuna Om Jalabimbaya Vidmehe Nila Pushpaya Dimehe Tanno Varuna Prachodaya Ate Then Om Namo uh, a prayer at the end or Om Namo Namaste Astuspatika Prabhaya Suspeta Vastraya Sumangalaya Supasha Hastaya Jashasanaya Jaladi Nataya Varunaya Namo Namaha. Okay, so it says the mouth of the vessel, uh, with um, close the mouth of the vessel with the right hand, and uh, uh, or show the Ankusha Mudra. Ankusha Mudra, you should all know, but uh, uh, right hand, middle finger up, um, uh, index finger should be uh, should be bent at uh, ninety degrees. Right to, to indicate the goad to look like the goad which is used to other three fingers are uh, the other two fingers are kept closed by the thumb and this is a this is a very common mudra it's uh, it looks like uh, the goad or the the hooked uh, implement that is used to control elephants called the ankusha or touch with a bunch of kushiras and then we say the following mantras. Shiva apaha santu, santu shiva apaha, so manasyam astu, astu so manasyam, akshatam charistam chasu, ashvak ashvak shatam aristam, bavad bihi, bavad beer, anugyataha, punyaham vacha yishe. Right? So the uh, then vachatam. Okay, so you can see here that there are dashes in between these different, uh, these different sayings. In fact, you, if you have other priests with you, the main priest will say the, the, the sentence on the left and the sentence on the right will be repeated, will be, an, will be answer given by the, the uh, paricharikas or the assistant priests. So this is what we call uh, uh, a vachanam and a, uh, uh, and, uh, and a prativachanam. Okay, so we, we, there's, a, there's a statement made by the main priest and uh, the other priests reply. So, so basically that's the, way, that's the way it is. Right, then there's a Vedic mantra here. Um, looks like it comes from 
VS means Vajrasenaya Samhita, which is the Shukla Veda Samhita, um, 1244. Uh, Punastva Ditya Rudra Vasavas Samin Samindatam Purna Brahmano Vasunita Yagyaihi Rutena Tvam Tanvam Vardhayasya Yasva Satya Santu Yajamanasya karm, Karmaha Karmaha and there's a Dirga Svarita on the on the letter, last day of the Karmaha. So I'm not going to I'm not going to attempt to to say this with the proper swaras. If you want an, an audio but, um, of a Veda party, a person who knows the Veda chanting this with the proper correct Vedic intonations, which you should learn, then please contact me. Uh, okay, so the next, uh, this is a, this is where, what we're doing here is a type of punyavachana, right? Does it mention that? Yes, lagu punyavachana. So this is a short punyavachana to purify the water. Now that means if you're doing this uh, short uh, punyavachana, then there's no do, need in the purvangam to do the, the kalasha puja. So you can just go straight to this. Otherwise you can just do the kalasha puja, which is much simpler and, uh, and that's enough. Bho Brahmana Asya Yajamanasya Punyaham Bhavanto Bhuvantu. Right? And so that is the Vachanam spoken by the head priest. And then the Prati Vachanam is Om Punyaham Astu, Om Punyaham Astu, Om Punyaham Astu. Three times. Uh, that is the reply of the Paricharakas or the assistant priest. Right? Swasti Mitra, Varuna Swasti, Pat. The ye revati swasti na indras chagnis cha swasti no adite adite kudi. Okay, so that's another Vedic mantra if you want that. If you want that chant with correct swaras, please again contact me for any Vedic mantras because I'm not going to attempt to correctly um, get the different uh, uh, intonations like that. Is these, I don't know these Vedic countries are quite hard. So, Bo Brahmana Asya Yajamanasya Swasti Bhavanto Bhavantu. That is the Pratibhajana by the head priest. The, se, the assistant priest say, Om Swasti Rastu, Om Swasti Rastu, Om Swasti Rastu, three times. Right? That is their Pratibhajana more reply. Uh, again, Ridyasma Havir Namaso Pasadya Mitram Devam. Mitra Dhyam Noastu Anuradan Havisha Vardayantaha Satam Jivema Saradas Saviraha. Okay, so that is the mantra again. Bo Brahmana Asya Yajimanasya Riddim Bhavanto Bhavantu Om Riddirastu Om Riddirastu Om Riddirastu. First part is by the is the Vachanam by the Head priest. The second part is the Padivachanam by the Padicharakas or the assistant priest. Now, the, now the head priest takes over and he's, he starts saying, Om Ritirastu, Samritirastu, Punyahama, Samritirastu, Shantirastu, Pustirastu, Tustirastu, Vridirastu, Avignamastu, Ayushamastu, Arogimastu, Om Shivam Astu, Om Shivam Karmastu, Om Karma, Samritirastu, Om Dharma Samritirastu, Om Veda Samritirastu, Om Shastra Samritirastu, Om Dhanadhanya Samritirastu, Om Putra Pautra Samparastu, Om Nishta Samparastu, Om Sakala Arista Nirasanam Astu, Om Yat Papam Rogam Shokam Akalyanam Tat Dure Patihantam Astu, Om Sanno Astu Dvipade Samchatuspade Om Shanti Shanti Shantihi. And uh, then there's this uh, following mantras Om Brahman Brahmano Brahma Vajjasi Jayatam Asmin Rastre uh, Rajanya uh, Ishavas Shuro Maharato Jayatam Bhogdri Denor Bodhi Boda Bodanandvan 
ashus saptihi purandri yosha jishnu ratesh shas sab sabebyo yuvasya yachamanasya viro jayatam nikame nikame na parjanyo varshatu palinyo na o shadayaha pachyantam yogakshemo na kalpatam tacham yoravani mahe gatam yagyaya gatam yagyapadaye taivi e swastirastunaha swastir manushebhya udvam jigatu besicham sanno astu dvihade e samchatus pade swaminaha manaha samadhiyatam right and the parivachanam is samahita manasa manasasma and the, again the vachanam by the head priest is prasidat dantu bhavataha and the parivachanam by the parichakras or, or um, assistant priest is prasanaha sma okay so that is that is the lagu punyavachanam that's the shortened punyavachanam the longer punyavachanam the longer yajurveda punyavachanam is done with um, the Pavamana Suktam, Hiranyavarina Sujaya Pavaka, it begins. And if you know that, you can do the longer version, but this is a shortened version. So then after that's finished, you do the Varuna Udvasanam or the valediction of Varuna. Again, if you don't know how to do uh, 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 Udvasanam, go to Puja Pustakam and read that. Sprinkle everything now with the holy water that you've made in the Purnihavachana. Uh, chanting Apavitra Pavitrova Sa Vavashtam Gdopiva Yasmanit Pundri Kaksham Sa Bahya Abhyantara Suchihi. Clearing the space. With the scattering of yellow mustard seed, evict the elementals of the building site. Yaratra Samstitam Bhutam Stanam Ashritya Sarvada Stanam Tyaktva Tuttat Sarvam Yatastam Tatra Kachantu Kachantu. Gachatu, Gachatu, hmm. Gachatu, okay. Uh, Apa Kramantu, Bhutani, Pisacha, Sarvato Disham, Sarvesham Abhirodena, Brahma Karma, Samarabe, Bhuta Preta, Pisacha Dya, Rakshasa, Yaksha, Guhyaka, Guhyaka. Uh, uh, Stanat Asmad, Vrija, um, looks like that should be a, that should be a Ri, not an R. So, um, Vrijan Twanyat, Svikaromi Bhuvam Tvimam. Okay, so uh, having said those three prayers there and sca uh, scattering yellow mustard seed on the building site, on the, on the ground, Right, then we will sprinkle the site also with Panchagavya. Panchagavya is the five products of the cow, cow urine, cow dung, milk, yogurt, and ghee. And uh, if you want to know how to prepare Panchagavya, probably that's also in Puja Pustakam, you look it up how to prepare the Panchagavya mixture. They're mixed, it's mixed in a certain ratio, and there's some mantras to be chanted to prepare the Panchagavya correctly and then sprinkle it. Kilaka, Kilaka Ropanam, right? Kilaka Ropanam, Aropanam. So that means um, inserting the pegs in the ground which show the corners of the building. So Kilaka, sometimes we mention this Kilakam when we are doing different uh, uh, mantras, right? Kilaka means the peg. So, Vishantu Butale Naga, Loka Palas Jasarvataha, Asmin Grihe Vatishantu, Ayo bala karasada. Okay, this is the mantra to be said when putting, inserting the pegs in the corners of where the building is going to be. So that's the first thing that has to be done. Bali pradhanam. Again, what is Bali? We covered in a previous session. Bali means cooked rice. Sometimes it can be it can be it can be in, um, cooked with uh, some dal, but in, uh, usually it's just plain cooked rice. Like that, which is offered to different uh, directional deities or, or other um, minor deities, 
right, with some water. They get water and they get rice, which is the basic food, foodstuffs for them, food offering for them. So, of course, Vaishnavas, when we do this, we first of all offer that to Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna, and that makes that Krishna Prasadam, and then we give the Krishna Prasadam to all these other elementals or um, minor deities. Offer Bali's. Now, Bali's, Bali's means we make lumps of that, lumps of that rice. So we, make, we, can, we, can make, we can make round balls, and those are called Bali's, right? Uh, and place them on there, and then we offer some water as well. So, Agni Bio Piata Sarpe Bio, Ye Chan Ye Tat Samashrita, Te Bio Balim Payachami, Punyam Odanam Uttamam. Right, so we're offering for the Sarpebio means this, this, the serpents and different beings. We're offering that, that uh, Vishnu Prasad for them. If we're Vaishnavas, if we're not, it's just plain rice. Vastu Pujam. Okay, so now we come to Vastu Pujam or the worship of the Vastu. Place a Sapta Darva Kurcha on the mandala. So before we do this, we have to make a Vastu mandala. How exactly we make the Vastu mandala, that may be or may not be mentioned in this document. If it's not mentioned in this document, then we have to look in texts like Matsya Purana, which gives us uh, the method of making the, the, uh, the, the different uh, uh, Vastu Mandala. There are different, different Vastu Mandalas for building temples and for building other buildings or houses. And so uh, we can read Haribhakti Vilas, the 20th Vilas explains more about this. A sapta darba kurcha means a kurcha, which is like a magic wand made of uh, kusha grass. And in this case, it's sapta darba, which means it has seven blades of kusha grass with the tips at one end and uh, a brahma grunty knot tied and the tips protruding from the brahma grunty knot. And then the base of the wand is also tied up with, with one, of the, one of the strands of kusha grass. In this way, it makes something that you can use to place in the middle of the mandala, and you can invoke the Vastu Purusha there. Also, the Vastu Mandala um, in, involves um, approximately, I mean, many, many deities, maybe 45 or more deities that are involved that are involved there. There are mantras for each one of these deities to be chanted. I'm not sure if he's going to go into that completely here. Maybe he's going to do it in a very simplified way. Uh, okay, so anyway, we have to prepare the mandala. The mandala is prepared with um, different colored rice, uh, um, not uh, cooked rice, but plain rice, which is mixed with different colors, or it can be done with uh, colored powders um, to make this particular mandala, which is a, uh, it's a, a, a diagram where, where the Vastu Purusha is, is situated. And uh, on the Vastu Purusha, there are these uh, different minor deities or demigods that are sitting on the Vastu Purusha to keep him down, because if he gets up, of course, he will, he will eat everything. He will eat the whole universe. He wants to. He's very hungry, and he wants to eat the whole universe. So this, to this uh, story is, of course, given in Matsya Purana as quoted in Harivati Vilas. So after we have made the mandala and we have put a seven-bladed grass purcha on the mandala, we take a flower in the hand, right? Take a flower in your right hand and recite the dhyana slokas or the meditation mantras and offer the flower onto the kurcha, thinking that the Vasu Purusha is invoked on this place. So, Vasu Martyo Mahakaya, Krishnango Raktalochanaha, Ekavaktro Dri Bahuscha, Barbarangancha Dhudharaha. Avahayam yaham bastum vajradeho mahabalam vishvambaram nagarupam nagarupam bhubhara bhubhar arpita mastakam agacha bhagavan vasto sarva devair adishita adishita bhagavan kuru kalyanam grihe smin San Grihe Spin, Sanido Bava. And if it's a, this is if it's a, a house, Grihe, Grihe is a house. If it's another type of building, you have to replace this, this word here, Grihe, with the other, with a name for the other building, 
or if it's a temple, you can say prasadesmin. Prasadis, prasadesmin means in this temple. Uh, san, sanido bhava. Om, shram, shrim, shrum, shrim, shraum, shrahaha. Hrim vastu pataye ihagacha ihatista. Om hrim vastu pataye namaha. So Om Rim Vastu Padeya Namaha is the Mula Mantra, which we're going to worship Vastu with. And we are then calling and establishing Vastu by saying Rim Vastu Padeya Ihagacha, please come here, and Ihatista be established here. Here is the uh, worship of the different devatas. This is a uh, simplified worship of the different devatas on the mandala, the Vastu Mandala. Om Amsumalina Namaha. Yayami of Ahiyami. So then we continue and we do the same thing with all the other names that are given here. So Om Amsumalini Namaha, Yayami of Ahiyami. So we can say, not only can we say Yayami of Ahiyami, but we can say Yayami of Ahiyami, Stapiyami, Pujayami, like that. So here it's just saying Yayami of Ahiyami. I meditate upon you, I call you, right? Yayami of Ahiyami. Stapiyami means I establish you. Pujiyami means I worship you. Okay, so Om Amsumali Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Jashita Jaya Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Kumarai Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Vinayakai Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Ashvibhyam Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Chandrai Namaha, Dhyayami Vahyami. Om Durgaye Namaha. Uh, uh, Jayami Vahiyami, Om Saptama Tribhyo Namaha, Jayami Vahiyami, Om Stanave Namaha, Jayami Vahiyami, Om Vishnave Namaha, Jayami Vahiyami, Om Brahmade Namaha, Jayami Vahiyami, Om, then we have uh, Om, then swa, sw, uh, Swami Naha, Sarva Jaganata, Yavat Pujas Puja Vasanakam, Tavat Yujam Priti Bhavena, Kumbe. Mandalesmin sanidim kuru. If you are invoking these into a kumba or a pot, you say kumbe. If you are invoking on the actual mandala, you say mandale. Okay, sanidim kuru. So you're invo invoking them. You can see my uh, my document on on uh, invoking different deities and doing the pratapitas of different deities, and you can also see the purvangam given in uh, the the section on pratapitista. Yeah, and you'll you'll see that this uh, this mantra is this sloka is there um, in the puja puja Paskam, in the in the in the section of Purvangam Pranapratista. So then we have different uh, statements here, which are accompanied by mudras. For that, you also have to look at the Purvangam in the Pranapratista. You have to learn that. So Avita Avita Avahita Bhava. And this is a being, I think this is in plural. So, so because we have many deities to, to be invoked here. So, Avahita Bhava, Stapita Bhava. I have in my document about Pranapatista in, in invoking deities, it mentions all the differences in the Sanskrit terms that have to be done, whether the deity is male or female, whether they are singular, dual, or plural deities, and, and whether those deities are male or female. So we have to we have to change the Sanskrit slightly for those. But anyway, here he's given these these particular ones to go with the with the mudras. Avahito Avahita Bhava, Stapita Bhava, Sanita Bhava, Bhavata, Saniruddha Bhavata, Sanihita Bhavata, Avaguntita Bhavata, Prasidataha. Okay. Now we offer the upacharas. Who are we offering the upacharas to? We're offering them to all these different uh, devas, all these different devas that we've invoked on the Pastor Mandala. Avahitanam sarvasam devatanam asanam sarvapayami. So this is how he's doing it, saying uh, sarvasam devatanam asanam samarpayami. Avahitanam sarvasam devatanam. Uh, asanam samarpayami. That's a little bit uh, difficult to say. So we could sim simply say sarvebhyo vastu 
Vastu Debyo Namaha, or Sarvebyo Devebyo Namaha, Asam Samapiyami, Agam Samapiyami, etc., etc., Pushpamalikam Samapiyami, Pushpai Pujayami, and you come up to the, to the, to the, again to the Namarchana with the offering of uh, flowers and flower petal or flower petals to the Vastu deities uh, on the mandala or in the Kumba, because it's mentioned there Kumba, um, <clears throat> with these names. So Vastu Lagu Namavali. So it means a shortened num number of names. If you have a longer list of names, you can also use that. So again, for the Namarchana, we're going to say Om Asi Charma Dharai Namaha, Om Kapilasya, Kapilasyaya Namaha, Om Bishanaya Namaha, Om Raktalocharaya Namaha, Om Kota Rakshaya Namaha, Om Lambakarnaya Namaha, Om Dirga Janghaya Namaha, Om Mahodhraya Namaha, Om Ashvatundaya Namaha, Om Kaka Kantaya Namaha, Om Vajabahave Namaha, Om Vratantakaya Namaha, Om Smitavakraya Namaha, Om Krishna De Hai Namaha, Om Svedavastra Namaha, Om Suvestine Namaha, Om Rakta Keshai Namaha, Om Mahapane Namaha, Om Tikshnadam Strai Namaha. Okay, so after doing that, so they place five bricks on the Vedi. Vedi means a, an altar, right? A raised, slightly raised altar. After decorating them with the following symbols, so you get five bricks. Decorate with uh, you can use you can use rice rice powder, rice flour which has been wet with um, with water and you make a paste and you can and you can draw you know you can draw on the on the on the on the bricks or you can do it with uh, with paint or whatever, in a, in any way you want to draw these symbols on these bricks so you have a nanda lotus bhadra throne jaya umbrella rikta tortoise orna vishnu Okay, so these are the names of the bricks, right? And the particular devata, that is, and the particular symbol, we're going to understand the different devata that is invo involved in these different uh, bricks, which are placed, right? We're going to lay the stones. So establish five kumbhas for Abhishek. So we're going to establish different pots to bathe, uh, to bathe, to bathe these bricks. Uh, so the brick is Nanda, the symbol is Lotus, the Kumba is the, the uh, uh, Kumba is called the Padma Kumba, and then the uh, Devata invoked is Brahma, and there's a mantra here Brahma, Brahma Jajanam Padamam Purastad, Vishima Suracho Vena Avaha, Subhudnia Upama Asya, Vishtas Satascha Yonim Asat. Satas cha vivaha. Okay, that's a, uh, again, Vedic mantras um, ask me for a proper pronunciation by Veda, Veda, uh, Veda Pati. Okay, Bhadra, brick, symbol is the throne, name of the Kumbha is Mahapadma, the Devata is Vishnu, Vishnu, Radhata, Mazi Vishnu, Prithya, Mazi Vishnu, Shnaptre, Esto, Vishnu, Shura, Vishnu, from Vishnu Suttam. That is the mantra to do to establish these. And each one of them, you know, if you properly in establishing a kumba, each one of them has to be also worshipped. All of these devatas have to be worshipped properly with 16 of the charts. But it's not mentioned here, but you know, if you're just doing it in a simplified way, you can just establish the, the kumbas by saying these mantras. The next uh, brick, Jaya, or the next Kumba, excuse me, Jaya, uh, with an umbrella on it. It's called the Shankar Kumba. Uh, you're invoking Rudra. No ru yo Rudro, uh, yo, no, yo Rudro, Agnau, Yo Apsu, Yo Oshadishu, Yo Rudro Vishwa, Nuvana, Vishesha, Tasmai, Rudraya, Namo Astu. Um, and to the next one, Rikta. With the tortoise mark on it, it's called the Makara Kumba, and Maheshwara. Maheshwara is, in, is invoked on here, and it looks very much hmm, not quite sure between Rudra, Maheshwara, and Sadashiva, but anyway, they're, they're all given different parts here. 
Yo Veda Dioswara Prokto Vedante Cha Patistitaha Tasya Prakriti Linasya Tasya Prakriti Linasya Parascha Maheshwaraha. Okay, so this is a pretty common Vedic mantra. And uh, then the last one, Purna Vishnu, uh, is, is, um, is, is a symbol. Samudra is the name of the part. Sadashiva is the Devata. Vishana Sarva Vidyana, Mishwara Sarva Bhutana, Bhuta Dipatir, Brahmano Dipatir, Brahma Shiva, Shiva, Shivom Mayastu, Sada Shivom. This is the mantra. Okay, so consecrate the, the Kumbhas these different pots, invoking the deities in them and offer upacharas. Okay, so we have to offer the upacharas. We can do the offer the we can invoke the deities uh, one by one and offer the upacharas one by one to each to each pot before moving to the next one. Or we can in, invoke all five pot, all deities in all five pots and say again Sarvabhyo Devata Bhyo Namaha uh, and offer the upacharas to all five pots together. Perform Abhisheka with the following substances. Uh, Abhishekam. So we're going to perform Abhishekam of the, of the, of the bricks. So we have these five bricks. And we also have these kumbas which represent the, the, the bricks. So Gomutra. So we, here we have the mantras to be chanted uh, either when establishing a pot with a particular substance in it before pouring it, or uh, alternatively, the mantra to be chanted while pouring the, the substance on the bricks. So for Gomutra, which is cow urine, Gayatri Savitri Gayatri Mantra, Gomaya means cow dung. From Sri Suktam. Chiram, which means milk. Right? From from uh, from uh, uh, for Gandodakam which is um, uh, water mixed with a little sandalwood paste, right? So, Gandadvaram Durat Dasham Mitkupushtam Kadishni Im Ishvarigam Sarvabhutanam Tami Hopa Hoye Sriyam again from the same mantra as uh, Kaudan from, um, from Sri Sukta. For Dadi, for yogurt, Dadi Krav Noa Karasham Jishna Aswasya Vajinaha which we all know from Sanjivandana, right? For yogurt and for gritam, for ghee, for ghee, we have Shukramasi Jyoti Rasi Te Josi Devo Vas Savito Purat from Chitvena Pavitvena Vaso Suryasya Rasmi Behi. Yes. And then we have some other, we have some other, uh, some other substances here. Madhu, which means honey. Madhu vata vitaite madhu shranti sindavaha madhvina santavo sadihi. Okay, so that mantra. And then chakra or sugar, which could be sugar water or just plain sugar. Ayango prastir akkami dasanan mataram punaha titaran cha prayant subaha. Okay, so this is for uh, sugar. So here is the Kumbha Stapana Chakra and the Isha, Ishaka Stapana Chakra. So we have, uh, we have where the, the Kumbhas or the pots are being established. We establish the Brahma, uh, Brahma uh, the, the, the Padma, these are the different, uh, the diff names of the different, let's see, names of the different bricks are there. Oh, I'm sorry, the names of the names of the kumbhas are there. The names of the kumbhas are there, and the names of the deities established in those kumbhas. Here we have the names of the, the bricks. 
the names of the bricks and how they're set out in the hole where we're going to lay them, right? We're going to do them like that with the one, the one in the middle and then in the different corners here. Um, the Vayu Kon, Ishan Kon, Agni Kon, and Mairiti Kon, right? So starting in the east, starting in the east, going around to, to the southeast, the, the southwest, the northwest, and the northeast, and finally the center one. Okay. Take each of the kumbhas or pots and pour the water over the bricks in the, with the following mantras. So here are all the Vedic mantras to do that. On the Nanda Shila with the Padma Kumba, right? A Brahman, Brahmano, Brahma, Vachasi, Jayatam, Asmin, Rastre, Rajanya, Ishava, Ishavyas, Shuro, Maharato, Jayatam, Dogdi, Dogri, Denur, Bodha, Bodan, Van, Asyu, Saptihi, Saptihi. Puradri Yosha, Jishnu, Ratesh, Ratesh Das, Sab, Sabe Yo, Juvasya, Yajamana Syaviro, Jayatam, Nikame, Nikame, Na Pajanyo, Varsatu, Palinyo, Na O Shadayaha, Pachyatam, Yoga, Chemo, Naha, Kalpatam, the Badrashila, Mahapadma Kumba, Using the Mahaput Padma Kumba, Badram Karni Pishri Vayama Deva, Badram Pasi Makshir Shibir Yajatraha, Sire Range Estus Tuvagum, Shastanu Bihi, Yasema Deva Hitam, Yadayahu. The Jaya Shila with the Shankar Kumba, Vishnu Rata Mati Vishnu, Prasamati Vishnu, Shantre Esto Vishnu, Shura Ti Vishnu, Rumati Vaishnu, Nasi Vishnu Vetwa, Urakta Shila with the Makar Kumba. Om Yamaya Twa Makaya Twa Surasya Twa Tapasi Devas Twa Savita Adva Naktu Pritipya Sagasprisa Spahi Arichasi Sochirasi Taposi The Puna Kumba with the Samud, the Puna Shiro with the, uh, the uh, Middle Punashila with the Samudra Kumba. Om Imam Deva Aspatnagum Suvid Suvidvam Mahate Chatraya Mahate Jeshtyaya Mahate Jan Raja Yendras Yendriya Imam Amusya Putram Amusyai Putram Asyai Isha, Esha, Yova, Yomi, Raja, Somos, Maka, Smakam, Brahman, Nanagam, Raja. Okay, so then we invoke the devatas, invoke the devatas, and then offer upacharas to them like that. Uh, after we do that, Swaminaha, Sarva Jaganata, Yavat Puja, Vasanakam, Tavat Yujam, Pitibhavena, Kumbesh Veshu, Sanidim Puru. We're invoking the devatas and offering uh, upacharas. So this mantra here seems to indicate that we're, we're invoking them in a kumba or in pot, but I would suggest that in this case here, it seems like we were, we are, we were to be offering, uh, uh, we're invoking them in the bricks. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure about that, so we have to check about that. But it seems like we invoke them in the bricks. And again, the uh, Avita Bhavata, Sapita Bhavata, Sani Da Bhavata, Sani Ruda Bhavata, Sani Hita Bhavata, Puntita Bhavata, Prasirita, Avita Avahitanam, Sarvasam, Devatanam, etc. We can look back at the previous part where that is given and, it, and uh, then um, we can replace that up Sarvasam uh, Devatanam with Sarvebio Devatabio Devatabio or Devatabio can be but Devata is a long A ending 
feminine noun, although it means masculine god, demigods and also feminine demigods like that, goddesses. And uh, so, but a, a blanket uh, mula mantra to use to offer the Upacharas would be Om Sarvebhyo Devatabhyo. Or Sarvebio Devatabio. Sarvebio Devatabio, and Amon Maha, Diami Jan Swapiami Vahiami, Asam Swapiami Padim Swapiami, like that. That can be done. Okay, so after that's done. So then that is the end of that uh, Sheila Nyasa section. So now we come to the Homer section. So in the Homer section, uh, we do the Agni Mukam. Agni Mukam is there in Homer Sangraha. So if you don't know it, you should go and look at the Homer Sangraha and do the Agni Mukam up to the point of uh, what we call the Aja Bhaga, the Aja Bhaga offering of, uh, of uh, streams of ghee for uh, before we start the particular homa, but all of the common rites up to that point. Om Purva Vasuvaha, Balavardhana Nama Agnim Avahiyami. So this is the name of the particular fire that is called to for this particular rite. Establish the fire and perform all rites up to Ajibhaga. With each of the following mantras, offer four oblations of ghee. So four times. Four times, so chant each, chant each one of these. This is Vastu Suktam, Vastu Suktam. And Vastu Suktam um, can be found on the internet. Um, GRD Iyer has a, has a nice uh, video for that, for learning Vastu Suktam. If we need to make a Vastu Suktam uh, video, we can do that with the mantras. Um, I believe that uh, maybe a couple of the mantras at the end here um rami has added about vastu and um a shortened version maybe maybe leaving out one or two of these last ones is is the norm is the norm okay so vaso ospate pati jani hyaspan svavishto anam nivo bhava naha yadve mahe pati tanno dushpa samno edi dvipade Sam Chatus Pade Swaha Vaso Ospate Saguma Sagum Ayasa Ayaa Sagum Sadate Shakshi Mahi Ranvaya Yatu Mai Mayat Yatu Matya Avaha Cheme Uta yoga varam no yujam pata pata swastibi sada naswaha paso ospate patarano na edi hopir ashwebir indo ajara ajara sas te sakya syama piteva putran Patino Jushasva Svaha Ami Vaha Vaso Ospata Vishpa Rupan Yavishan Saka Suseva Edina Svaha Abi Ho Ache Oshyat Yavato Nim Vas Vasto Spatim Vasta Ram Ra Ranaha Danya Sajosha Dishan Na Namo Pir Vas Manaspatir O Shadhi Raya Eshe Svaha Vaso Ospate Nuva Sunam Sunam. I'm not sure about that. Why, why is that good? Satram Somya Naam Grapso Beta Puram Saspat Tinam Indro Muni In Dram Saka Swaha. Okay. 
So those all have to be done four times with ghee. And are we, we, does it say are we offering, what does it say? Oh yeah, anoint the bricks with the sampat, with the leftover ghee from each of the, each of the ablations. So you offer the ablation of ghee into the fire and then put one drip onto the bricks. So offer one ablation each with the names of the mandala devatas, right? And of course, he's given us a, uh, a um, condensed or, a, uh, or a, a, shortened, a shortened list of mandala devatas. Omam sumalini swaha am, am sumalini idanamama. And by the way, by the way, we didn't mention the pratibhachanam here. But when you offer homa, you offer swaha, uh, you offer into the fire. And then afterwards, after you say this, uh, normally a vastu homa would be, uh, for instance, the first one would be, vipade samcha kuspade swaha, vastu natai dannamama. You would say, swaha, vastu natai dannamama, vastu purushai dannamama, right, would be the prativachanam or the reply that you that you say after you offer the ablation into the fire. Okay, so after each one of these. So either Vastu Nata Idanamama or Vastu Purushaya Idanamama. So down here we have the Mandala Devatas. So each specific uh, oblation using the name of one of the Mandala Devatas, you would say the, the uh, Pradivajanam here. So he's given the first one as an example and you do the same thing. With each one of these names. So it'd be Amsumalini Swaha, Amsumalini Dandamama, Jasha Dvajaya Swaha, Jasha Dvajaya Namama, Kumaraya Swaha, Kumaraya Dandamama, Vinayakaya Swaha, Vinayakaya Dandamama, Ashwibyam Swaha, Ashwibyam Dandamama, Chandraya Swaha, Chandraya Dandamama, Durgai Swaha, Durgai Dandamama, Saptamat Tribyo Swaha, Saptamat Tribyo Dandamama, Stanavi Swaha, Stanavi Dandamama, Om Vishnave Swaha, Vishnave Dandamama, Brahmane Swaha, Brahmane Dandamama, Indraya Swaha, Indraya Dandamama, and he puts etc. here. So let's go back and see how many um, Mandala, how many Devatas do we actually have in the beginning of the Mandala Devata? He, he's, he's doing Vishnave Brahmane. Uh, Brahmane. Okay. So he has actually come to the end here. He's, why did he say? Why did he say? Why did he say, etc. He In Drya. He said in Drya here. Okay. So in Drya, etc. Uh, indicates to me that he, he is, he is mentioning more because up, up above, he mentioned only up to Brahmane. To Brahma, but uh, here he's mentioning Indra. When normally when you say Indra, etc., it means the Dikpals, Indra, Agni, Vayu, Kuvera, like that. Okay, so we're not. I'm not sure, but it, it seems like we can look it up in some other book and we can find out whether those other de Dikpals deities have to be included here. Um, and then it says offer 108 oblations. So we know, of course, I mentioned before that uh, there are there are more than just this devatas in the in the Vastu Mandala. So, so a more expanded version of this could be done. He's giving a very uh, sort of condensed and, and shortened version. Okay, so offer 108 oblations with each of the following mantras, taking sampat, sampatam. Sampatam means means putting it on the bricks, right? Uh, so 100 108 times. For each one of the bricks, these are the names of the bricks, right? Om Nandaye Swaha Andai Dhanamama Om Badraye Swaha Badraye Dhanamama Om Chan Jaya Swaha Jaya Dhanamama Om Viktaya Swaha Viktaya Dhanamama Om Purnaya Swaha Purnaya Dhanamama. So we do 108 of each. So that would mean 108 Nandaya, then 108 Badraya, then 108 Jaya Yais, then 108. Rikdai eyes, then 108 Purai eyes, like that. Uh, I don't know anybody who does it the other way, who does like one, two, three, four, and then repeats the four like that. It may be like that, but I, but I doubt it very much. Usually what you do is when you're offering ablations and you're offering numbers of ablations, you offer, you offer the first, you offer the same mantra again and again and again and again and again. Like that. 
because uh, anyway, that's the way that the way it's done. Okay, so then anoint the bricks with the sampacham uh, after each homa, and then offer one hundred and eight oblations with the agora mantra. So here we have this agora mantra coming from VS sixteen two, which means Vajrasena Samhita. That's the Shukla Yajurveda. Um, Om Yate Rudra Shiva Tanur Agora Papam Tasini Taya Nas Tanva Santa Maya Giri Santa Bhi Chakashi Swaha. So 108 oblations with that, with that one. It's not mentioned whether you. I would assume, I'm assuming that you also offer the Sampat Ajam also from the Sagora Mantra also on the bricks. So then we have the Pancha uh, Varuna Homa, Pancha Varuna Homa. So, Imamme Varuna Sri Havamadja Chamidiya Tvama Vasura Chaki Swaha Avarnai Dhanamama Tatpayami Brahmana Vandamanas Tadaa Tad. Tadasha aste yajamano habibihi ahe damano varune abudu shagum sama na ayu promoshi swaha varnai the namama. Right, uh, and uh, these are only just once each, it looks like. Okay, so Twanno de Agne Varunasya Vipan, Devasya he do Vayasa Vayasi Shishtaha. Uh, Yajisto Vani Tamasho Sho Shuchano Vishwa Deva Gumsi Pramum Ugdias Mat Swaha Agni Varuna Bhyam Nam Namama Satvano Agni Vamo Bhavato um, Medisto Asya Ushaso Justau Avayakshwa no Varunagum Rara no Vihi Nibikagum Suhavona Edi Swaha Agni Varuna Bhyami and Namama from Agne Ayasya Yasan Manasa Hitaha Ayasan Havyam Bohishe Yano Yano Dehi Besha Jagashwaha Agnayas Agniyase Idanamama. Okay. So that sounds like the end of the Homa, like that. So we do the proper Uricha Karma would be done at the end of the Homa. I think we don't uh, we don't have any more Homa here, so the you would do the proper Udicha karma and everything at the end of that. So you can also look in uh, Homa Sangraha for the, how to end the Homa up. This is the end of it. And so, so this is the end of the Homa. Continuing on, placing the bricks or actually uh, establishing the stones. So there's a Sankalpa for doing that. Om Purvokam Guna Visheshna Vishta Yama Syam Shubati Tao Bhagura Gyaya Bhagut Kinka Yurupena Panchashila Stapanam Karishye. Okay, so we're going to in, take those five stones and we're going to place them in the pit and we're going to establish them. In the Ishana Kona, Ishana Kona would be the uh, northeast, right? Ishana. Um, place a silver or gold ananta shesha and invoke Vastu Purusha. Vahyam yaham devam bhumishta chapyado mukam vastu natam jagadhanam purvasyam patamashitam ashitam. So, okay, so then with the Vastu, so some a mantra from the, the first mantra from the Vastu Shuktam again. Vaso os pate pati jani yas yas yasman swavesho anamivo bavanaha yatre mahe pati tanno dushva sam e no edi dvipade sam chatus pade. 
Vastu, Vastudeva Namastubhyam Bhusavya Birata Prabho Madgraham and of course Madgraham Dhana Dhanya Dhyaihi Samridam Kuru Sarvada Okay, so these are the mantras to be chanted uh, for establishing the, the different, before establishing the different uh, stones or bricks in the, in the pit. Um, notice here that we have the word griham here. So if it is a temple, you can re, 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 uh, change that to prasadam instead of griham. Uh, or if it's some other type of building, if you know the name of that building in Sanskrit, you can, you can replace that, the name of griham here. So first of all, the Nanda Shila Stapanam in the Agni Kona, right, which I believe is the Southeast. Om Padmaya Namaha. Uh, uh, and again, we have these, uh, the, these uh, mantras for, that were used before. Uh, Brahmam Brahmano Brahma Parchasi Jayatam Asmin Rastre. Uh, and again, the, all these Vedic mantras, um, if you need uh, uh, a proper pronunciation and, 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 and swaram, uh, uh, different tonal intonation of it, you have to uh, contact me and I'll, I'll get that for you. Brahman, Brahmano, Brahma, Vajjasi, Jayatam, Asmin, Asri, Rajanya, Ishavyas, Vyashuro, Maharata, Jayatam, Dogri, Deno, Voda, Nanvan, Asusapti, Purandri, Yosha, Jishnu, Rateshtas, Sabye, Sabeyo, Yuvayasya, Yajamanasya, Viro, Jayatam, Nikame, Nikame, no, Na, Tarjanyo, Varshatu, Palino, Na, Oshadayaha, Pachyatam, Yoga, Chemo, Na, Kalpatam, Etante, Deva, Savitu, Yabyam, uh, prahar, Brihaspataye, Brahmane, Tena, Vidyam, Ava, Tena, Yagyapatim, Tena, Ma, Ava, Man, Mano, Jutir, Jushatam, Ajyasya, Brihaspatir, Yagyakum, Imanto, Imantano, Twarishtam, Yagyakum, Samim, 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 Mam, Dadatu, Vishve Deve Devasa, Iha Marayanta Gum Om, 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 Pratista. I, I assume that's three times Om, anyway. Om Purva Subaha, Adara Shiri, Shilo, Pratista. And this should be, this is a spelling mistake here because the, I believe that there's an H here. Pratista Bhave. Okay, then we have um, uh, place the brick and offer Pancho Pachara Puja. Pancho Pachara Puja, once again, we all should know. Danda Pushpa Dupa Deepa and Naivedya, which can be offered. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't want to do that, you can just offer Pancho Opachara with mantras and Akshita uh, or some. Uh, on, so, Om Nande Tvam Nandini Pumsam Pumsam uh, Tvam. Atra stapayam yaham veshmani tviha santishta yavach chandraka tarakaha. Okay. Om ayu kamam shriyam dehi deva vasini nandini asmin raksha tvaya karya sara veshmani yatnataha yatnataha. Okay, so for the Badra Shila, moving on. In the Nairitikon, uh, Om Maha Padma <coughs> Padmaya Namaha, Padram Karne Bisrinuryama Deva, Padram Pas Yemak Sir, Asir Yachaha, Sirai Range Estus Tuvagum, Sastanubi Hiva Sema Deva Hitam Yadayu. And then we have to look back at the, at the last one, uh, Etan Te Deva. Om 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 Pratista, and you can see he got the he, he got the H here, and in, in this one. Okay, so we have uh, back here to see where it is. Uh, Eighteen. This part here. This this part here is repeated. 
after the particular mantra of the uh, of the of for the particular stone, right? There is this part in common, which is re which is repeated before establishing the stone. Okay, so with the Padra Shila says Om Bhurvava Subaha Adara Shilo Patista Bhave. Okay, and again he seems like he needs an H here. It's a spelling mistake. Badre Twam, and there's a, there should be an A in here, Sarvada. Badre Twam Sarvada Badram Loka Nam Kuru Kasya Pi. Again, Ayu, Ayuda, Ayuda. Okay, could be Ayuda. Ayuda Kamada Devi Sukada Cha Sada Bhava. So this, this is definitely not Sarvada. There's definitely an A in the first look. Line here missing. Um, and no, so Ayurda is okay. I don't know about this one. This, this is weird. Sarvada. Mm. Uh, Badre Tom Sarvada Badra Lokanam Kuru Kasapi. That, that fits with an A. It should be an A. Here. Okay, so it's slight spelling mistakes. Okay, so when do we get where do we get up? Um, Badre Tom Sarvada Badram Lokanam Kuru Kashapi Ayuda Kamada Devi Sukada Cha Sarabhava Tom Atra Stapayam Yadya Grihesmin Badra Dayine. And again, if it's it's not a house, or, uh, then you can replace Grihe with Prasade or whatever other name of the building you're going to be building. The third one, the Jaya Shila invoked in the Vayu Kona, Om Shankaya Namaha, Vishnu Aravata Mati 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 Vishnu Aravata Again, that section from Etan Te Deva up to Om 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 Pratishta is chanted. And then Om Bhurva Vasuvaha Adhara Shilo Pratishta. Again, he missed out the H. Bhave. Om Garga Gutra Samud Bhutam Trinetram Cha Chatur Bhujam Grihe Smin. Again, Grihe, if it's not a house, can be replaced with Prasade for, for a temple. Stapyayam Yadya Jayam Charu Lochanam Jayam Charu Lochanam Yadya Yadya Jayam Charu Lochanam Nityam Jayaya Bhutyay Cha Swamino Bhava Bhargavi. And we can see here in the previous ones. I just wanted to see here in the previous ones. Each, yeah, he started. He started with all with Om. Uh, he didn't start here with this one. He didn't start this with Om. But anyway, in, in each sloka or each uh, mantra can be started with Om. And he's done that in the in the language to one in the Bhadra Shila and Jaya Shila also. Okay, so continue on the fourth one in the Ishan Kong. Um, <coughs> which is going to be northeast. Okay, so Om Makaraya Namaha, Yambakam Yajamahe Shivandin Pushtivadanam, Urvarukam Ivabandanam, Mityo Mukshi Mukshiyaman Mita Ate. Okay, so that is the famous uh, Mahamad Junjaya mantra. And uh, then again, we have uh, repeated Etan Te Deva up to Om 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 Pratishta. Then Om Borbhava Subaha Adara Shilo Pratishta. Again, he, there's a spelling mistake here in the tonight. Bhave Om Rikte Tvam Rikta Doshagne Siddhi Mukti Prade Shuve Shuve Sarvada Sarva Doshagne Agni. Tishtam, Tishtas Min, Tishtas Min, Tatra, Nandani. Okay, and then the last one, which is, goes in the center, in the center of the house. In the center of the house. Uh, the way that he has written this, it sounds like you have five pits in the different directions of the house, and then you put one, in, one brick in the middle of the house. Maybe it's done like that, but maybe it's just one, one pit in the northeast. I don't know. 
Okay, so we have to, you know, go in, maybe we could ask uh, Rama Rama Nujachari what he meant by that. Um, Om Sarvatol but Sarvatol Badraya, Sarvatol Badraya Namaha, Om Puna Darvi Paraa Pata Supuna Punar Apata Avas Vasneva Vikri. Navaha Isham Ujam Gum Sata Krato. Okay, this is coming from Vajrasana Samita 349. Again, the Shukri Ajurveda. Um, and again, chanting the Etan Te Deva uh, up to Om 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 Patishta. Uh, then Om Purva Subaha Adar Shilo Patishta. Again, there should be an H here. Um, Bhave. And again, we could uh, probably start with a, an Om here. Or not. Or Om Purne Tvam Sarvada Purnan Loka Nam Kurukas Kashyapi Ayurda Kamada Devi Dhanada Sutada Tata Grihe. Again, you can change Grihe to Prasadi if it's temple or whatever the name of whatever other building you're, you're doing. Um, Grihe Dhara Vastu Mayi Vastu Deepena Samyutam Tvam Mrite Nasti Nasti Jagatam Adharascha Jagat Priye. Okay, so that is pretty much the end of the Shila Nyasa um, uh, thing. All we need to do is we need to offer the priest Dakshinam, or the, if there's more than one priest, we have to offer the Acharya and the the Ritviks or the Paricharikas, the assistant priests, some Dakshinam, we have to offer them um, some cloth and fruit and, and money and you know, different things. Adya, Primtaita, Chilanyasa, Karmanaha, Sangha, Pala, Praptaye, Sadgunartam, Cha, Acharya, Dibhyo, Dakshinam, Sampradade. Right, that can be chanted by the by the uh, by the uh, acharya uh, when the people are giving him the, the dakshin. Then loka kshema pratna. So I'm not sure exactly where this might be, but we give a prayer for the the well-being of all living entities and all of all the world. Yeah, and this may be in. This may be in uh, Puja Pustakam, probably in Puja Pustakam, maybe in, in, in Homa Sangraha or, or, or Puja, Puja, Puja Sangraha, or Puja Pustakam or Homa Sangraha. Um, probably, probably it's, uh, or it could also be in uh, Rama Rama Nuchichari has made an, an, an Ashivada, an Ashivada um, book, a book, a PDF on Ashivadas or offering of uh, benedictions. So we can look in there for that. So then Devata Visarjanam, so Udvasanam or, or Visarjanam or valediction of all the different Devatas that we've invoked. Um, sprinkle water from the Shanti Kalasha, the Shanti Kalasha on the heads of the Yajamana and the wife and his wife. So um, unless it was a Shanti Kalasha directly spoken of, it, it means the Punyavachanam, the, the Kalasha or the Karaka that, that it was used for the Punyavachanam, or for the Yudhika Shanti, or for the Talashri Puja, right? On the Yajamana and his wife and his whole family, anybody who is the Yajamana or sponsor of the Puja should be sprinkled with that holy water. Then Ashivadam, special Ashivadam after this on the Yajamanas, and Bren uh, Brahmana Bhojanam, the, the uh, priest should be fed. Uh, um, you know, uh, they, they've given, they've already been given the Dakshina and, and everything that there's Acharya Sambhavana includes what we call Dadi Radhana or feeding of all the priests. And, uh, and, then, and then the participants and the other people uh, who gathered, gathered there for this ceremony and the, especially the, the sponsors, they can also take food at that, that point. Okay, so that's the end of the Sheila. Yasa, 